Good morning. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I haven't posted many videos on here recently because I've just been too busy with work and other life commitments. Uh, the van's been a bit of a slow process for me. Um, going in short bursts, getting lots done, stepping back from it, going in short bursts. Uh, today though, I'm quite excited because I'm going to be making or painting my shower tray. So originally my idea for this was epoxy resin. Um, epoxy resin is very difficult to use to get the right finish and I was also a bit worried about having an epoxy resin shower because of it being slippery. Today I'm going to be painting my shower with Raptor paint. Um, it's not an idea I've seen online, it's something I've come up with really because I've noticed a lot of vehicles can get painted in this Raptor paint which is very hard wearing, tough and fully waterproof. Um, so I've spoken to the people at Raptor and they seem to agree with me that it'd be perfectly suitable for a shower tray. I got my Raptor paint from Grove Group. I'll put a link in the description. But they do a range of colours, a range of either spray, roll on, all the different types you could possibly ask for. So um, I'll put a link in the description in case you want to wrap to your van or wrap to your shower or wrap to anything really because it's really hard wearing tough stuff. So I spoke to the people at Raptor. Asked them about the viability of whether the paint could be used as a shower tray and they've assured me that it would be fully waterproof it'd give a nice stippled finish as well which would add for grip um, so I'm gonna be getting into doing that today which I'm really excited about as you can see I've tanked the walls in a tanking kit this again provides a fully, fully waterproof uh, unit which runs all the way underneath so I tanked it all and then added the shower tray. This shower tray is fixed in, sturdy. So once the paint goes on, I'm gonna run hopefully the paint up the walls a little bit, and then the PVC panels will come onto that wall, uh, creating a really secure, waterproof, watertight area in order to have a shower. I've made this shower tray to my specification. Idea being is I wanted that bed there to be exactly 100 and 90 centimeters which is the full length of a single and then coming up to the driver cab I needed those exact specifications so I basically made it from 12 mil ply and then I used 2 by one and 3 by one upstands to create a nice deep finish reason being a van you're never going to be parked completely level so I didn't want any pooling or puddles I wanted a nice high upstand. So if you've ever heard of Raptor paint, it's a very hard wearing, very tough, waterproof paint. Usually used, if I'm honest, on the exterior of vehicles, because my plan is to have gray up walls. And rather than have a white shower, I thought I'd be a bit different and go for gray. And that's it in keeping with the rest of the van. So I've got my gray cushions there. I've got my bed there. That bed actually pulls out as well. Then my overhead lockers are grey as well. So it's really starting to come together now. And I just can't wait to see what this looks like. Obviously when it's painted and dry I'll then put the drain plug into there which is an extra long one. It will feed down and then it will run into the waste tank that is underneath the sliding door. Just need to mask all this off and get it prepped because Raptor paint once it's on it does not come off so I don't want any splashes on the floor so I'm going to do that now so that's it masked off taped ready to go hopefully that should provide some protection for the floor just in case I do get a splash
So it's been a few hours now since it's been done. Touch dry. Give it a stippled finish. So that was two thin coats, very thin coats, and then two thicker coats with the Raptor roller. And that's given a really nice finish. Curing time, it's touch dry now. It says I think it's seven days for it to be fully hardened. So I'm just gonna leave that, let it go off. I think you'll agree though, it looks pretty, um, looks pretty good. Hard to obviously get the angles in here. <clears throat> Those were the thinners used to thin it down. So yeah, I'm gonna get uh, panels to come down onto there, seal it in. Perfect. So yeah. Really happy with how that looks. I'm hoping, I don't want to stand on it now, but I'm hoping I want to stand on that. It's going to be nice and because it's stippled, just give it that bit of grip. But yeah, leave that to go off.